Question 14. Here are five number cards. We've got a half, one and a half, two, two and a half, three and a half. It says use three of the cards to make this calculation correct. So two of the cards need to be added together. Then we need to times by something to make 10. Now, this question is actually easier to start with this box here. If you're timesing by something to make 10, well, we're not going to be able to times by any of the fraction ones very easily to make 10, so it's probably going to be this 2. Now, what do I times by 2 to make 10? Well, it's going to be 5, isn't it? 5 times 2 would equal 10. So, basically, these two boxes need to make 5, because whatever's in the brackets... Yeah, it has to make 5, so that when we times it by 2, we get 10. So, all we're going to do now is try and find two more of the cards that add together to make 5. Well, I've already used 2, so I can't use that one again. So, which two of these add together to make 5? Well, half looks like it's going to be too small, because to make 5, we need 4.5, and 4.5 half, and and is not there. So, it can't be that one. And we've only got three left, so which two of them make five? Just have a little check. Two and a half and one and a half. Well, two and one makes three, and the two halves together would make four. So it it can't be those two together. Two and a half and three and a half. Well, the whole number two and the whole number three straight away is going to make five, and your two extra halves would make an extra one to make six. So it can't be those two together. So what's the only two that we haven't tried? We haven't tried one and a half with three and a half. So if we try those two, what are we going to get? Well, the one plus the three makes four, and the half plus the half makes an extra whole one. Four plus an extra whole one makes five. So it's got to be these two. So it's got to be one and a half and three and a half. So now we write those in the box. Good idea just to check what we've got. So one and a half plus three and a half, that does make five. And when we times it by two, that does make ten. So that's it.